Hi everybody, it's Claire. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get a day to night look using an amazing Smashbox double exposure palette. I've teamed up the Smashbox to create this day to night makeup look and also there will be a giveaway included in the end of the video so make sure you guys stick around to find out the details on that. So let's get started. First, starting off with my L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade Natural Buff and just going to go about doing my foundation routine as I would for my normal day-to-day -day basis. So I'm just rubbing that in and giving my skin a nice even coverage to start out the makeup. Next, I am taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair and just popping that right underneath the eyes to help hide the fact that I didn't get much sleep last night and to help highlight the under eye area as well. I'm going to use a little bit of cream bronzer by using the BB Cream Garnier Skin Renew in medium deep. Since it is dark for me right now, I like to use this as my bronzer. So I'm just working that in onto my cheekbones and temples and the jawline area. Next, I have this drugstore blush by Milani, and it is their one in Dolce Pink, and it's going to give a really nice shimmery, highlighted glow to my cheekbones. Just going to pop this on to finish off my face look. And now for the eyes, I am so excited to share with you guys the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. Look how amazing these 14 eyeshadows are in this palette. And what makes it so special is that these eyeshadows can be applied wet as well. So you really get 28 different kind of looks with these eyeshadows. Also includes a double-ended brush and a mascara as well. And here is a sheet that breaks down all the eyeshadows and what they look like when you apply them wet. And I like it because it gives you a breakdown of their textures. Also, here is a pamphlet and a how-to guide on how to apply the eyeshadows based on your eye shape. If you have hooded eyes, rounded eyes, here is a full how-to breakdown on how to apply the eyeshadows, which is so great based on our different eye shapes. So I was really excited to test out these eyeshadows wet, so I dampened the double extend brush that came in the palette and went into the color Flushed, which is on the warmer side here, but I thought it was a great color to start on the lids. And again, this is my day look, so I'm going to keep it pretty neutral to start, but I love how there's options of neutral colors on the warm side and then also neutral colors on the cool side, so I chose to stick with warm to start out. And this is a great color to wash all over the lids. It's going to show up, but not be too much for a work day or for just a day out shopping or anything like that. So I love this color so far. And now I'm going to dampen the other side of my brush. A little bit more of a tapered uh, style brush is on the other side and I really soaked it on this end. But I'm going to take that and dip it into the colors Veiled and Quartz. I wanted to mixture these two together because they looked like such pretty highlight colors which is where I'm going to put on my inner corners as you can see and as well as my brow bone to catch the light and to give a nice glisten on those parts of the eyes. So that is a really, those two are really beautiful if you want highlight colors from this palette. Since I was going for a more warm tone daytime eye, I chose the color Fig in the palette, which is a matte shade. So this is our first matte eyeshadow we are testing in this palette. And I'm just going to work that into my crease. And this is really going to complement those lid and highlight colors we've previously used. So just work that into your crease. Hold the back of your brush so that the brush really does the work. And you're just going to create a really nice um, cushion around what you've already done. And it's going to really start tying the look together by doing this step. I'm going to dip the flat shader side into Fig one more time and I'm going to trace this color underneath my eyes. This is great if you want to have definition underneath your eyes without using a harsh pencil and this plum color really complements brown eyes and green eyes really nicely so I love this step so much because it just gives a little more oomph to your look. And you could easily stop there, but I'm going to take one more eyeshadow color because I could not help myself with this one. This is Copper from the palette, and I'm taking it on the angle side of the double extend brush. And I'm going to treat this kind of as my eyeliner. I'm going to run this very close to my upper lash line, and with that angle, it really helps me get some control. It's not the perfect line or anything, but this darkness of this eyeshadow is going to help give definition to the top lashes, and it's going to be so pretty for daytime. So I really 
really like this and it goes well with all the warm eyeshadows we've been using. And here I am taking the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara which came in the palette as well and this is my first time trying this mascara so I was really impressed with how black it was and as you can see I didn't use any eyeliner like actual eyeliner in this look and so I was impressed with how black the mascara really came through for me in this part so I loved how lengthy and wispy my lashes looked after I ran the wand right through it so very happy with that and the first part of our tutorial would not be complete without a a little lip action by Revlon. This is the Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm Stain in Honey and I like this because my lips are very chapped right now for the winter time so it's soft and gentle on them and just going to give the right amount of color for our look. And that is going to complete our first part of the makeup tutorial. Just an easy way to create a day look that has some color without being too much for the daytime. It's just the right amount and it's really easy to do. All right, it's nighttime now and I'm ready to transform my look. So again, taking the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette, I'm going to pick up the color Temper. I could not help myself. I saw this purple color and was instantly drawn to it and I cannot wait to smoke this look out with the double-ended brush. I'm using the angle side to place it on the outer corners of my eyes. Anytime you want to take a look to a smokier level, always a really great trick is by placing a darker shade like this dark dark matte purple on the outer portions of the eyes in a sideways V shape is an instant way to make your look more smoky. So as you can see this color is very pigmented. I only picked up a little bit and it's creating a lot of dimension to my eyes already and it's going really well with my warm daytime uh, makeup look that I already had. So I love these mixing these cool and warm colors together. And I'm also taking that temper color and going beneath my eyes as well to create a little bit of smokiness under there. And I'm taking this color Blanc and it's the silver icy highlight color. It's amazing to put with these purple eyeshadow colors that are in the palette. And I'm popping that right on my inner corners with my pinky. I love using my pinky to apply highlight colors. I just think it's really easy, especially if we're in a rush and we're going out. I'm just gonna use my fingers to help blend it out and get it in the right places that I need it to be. Now I am dampening my eyeliner brush. Well, this is more of the super soaker version of it. I don't know why I'm so bad at simply dampening my brush, but I'm gonna dip this into the color Noir, which is just a matte black shade, but I like that we can turn this into an eyeliner. Since our brush is wet, it's gonna create a nice clean line along our lashes. Since it's a really rich black color, once you wet it, it turns into this nice eyeliner that we can use and define our eyes with. And to finalize the entire look, I took a pair of false eyelashes to give even more drama to my smoky eye day turn night tutorial and it's going to complete our entire makeup look. Well there you have it guys, I just hope you all enjoyed this day to night makeup look. One of my very favorite makeup looks to do. It's very realistic in the day for me to have to do this, so I really enjoyed uh, creating this for you all. And I'm so excited to announce that one of you will get the chance to win the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette just by entering my Twitter giveaway. So all you need to do is follow Smashbox on Twitter, which is at Smashbox, and then just tweet me, at Ulta Makeover, with one thing you change about your makeup look and hashtag that with change something. So make sure you jump on Twitter and tweet at me. It is that easy. I will put the details in the description box below as well as all the products I use in this tutorial today. Thank you guys so much for being here as always. I appreciate your support and I really look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.